Good day, everyone. Welcome back to Wheels Up Live. I'm IAD Bound. We're going to do a very quick video here on how to set up your throttle, reverse throttle, flaps, and spoilers in the PMDG 777-200ER in MSFS 2024. We're just, and this is going to be for the Honeycomb Bravo Throttle Quadrant, if you have that, but the same general principles should apply elsewhere. In addition, if you look in the PMDG Discord, uh, one of our mods has already posted the throttle settings for the TCA Airbus pack, so look there if you need it. All right, so I've spawned here on a runway just so you can see the effect more quickly because you, it's helpful if all of these things are turned on. Okay, so let's have a look then at our quadrant here. And you can see we've got, we're going to do the speed brake, we're going to do the two throttles, the reversers, and the flaps. Now, let's take advantage of one of the neat things in 2024. Is you can go to the controls right here while you're working in it, and you can see the impact uh, more or less immediately which is a nice, a nice tool to, uh, to have. And so here we can get a better look at this. Now, if we go to the Bravo throttle quadrant, you can see I've already made one for the PMDG 777. So to make it relatively simple, uh, I'm gonna show you how I got to this point. The key thing you wanna do is make sure that you are not using the default settings that 2024 will put into place for the Bravo Throttle Quadrant. It doesn't work right. Do not do that, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is start with a blank profile. So take any of the default profiles and delete them. Okay, so that way you have a blank profile that you can always start a new plane from. If you don't do this, your mileage is going to vary a lot and I don't recommend that. Okay, so just don't do that. Get the blank profile. All right, now we're going to go ahead and go right into well, the throttles. We'll start there. So it's under power management. You're gonna go under throttle. All you need, is throttle one access and generally on the jets your throttle one is in the third slot over at least it is for me uh, regardless whatever throttle one you have come to the throttle one access click in the box and move the throttle through its range notice now it asks us do you want to make a profile for this new input you can leave this as you want. I would recommend putting in something that's descriptive. So we could say PMDG 777-200. And we'll hit OK. And you can see we have that. Notice it's in a stuck position up there. So we'll just we'll hold that for a second. Don't worry about that. The thing you need to do with this setting is click on the settings key there and you need to invert the access for this throttle so that right now I have it in the in the lower position and then you need that with the inverted access so make sure you've done that all right now we're going to go back and let's go to throttle 2 throttle 2 access notice I'm not picking throttle 2 access 0 to 100 any of those just throttle 2 click on this one move your second throttle okay and now, same as we did before, make sure you come and invert that. And now we have the two throttles set up. Okay, next one, we're going to do the reversers. Okay, so with the reversers, you need, we'll put in the one we're looking for, it's going to be hold throttle reverse thrust. To enable that, what I do is I use the two reverser buttons in combination. One, two, three, 
2. Notice how it has both buttons now. Then you have to push them back down. Don't just leave them up. There we go. Now it's set. Here's the thing you need to do. Uh, let's check this setting here just to make sure that we have, know what buttons we have. Notice how they're in combination, 10 and 11. That's the buttons that are defined here. Yours might vary slightly, but that's what you're looking for. Now, how does it work? If you engage it, watch what happens. Now, I've clicked on this. What are we waiting for? I've set them to go, but nothing happens. Ah, but there you go. Now, so what I've done is I've pushed forward on the actual throttle levers. Notice how the reverse thrust is increasing. The more you push it, the more reverse thrust you will get. If you pull the throttles back, they'll come back to what is reverse idle, then push them back down, move the throttle forward slightly, and you have forward idle, uh, forward thrust again. So again, pull them back, push the throttle forward. Notice now you have reverse. Push them back down, release the buttons, and you have forward thrust again. Okay, so that's how that works. Notice that when we did that, the um, spoiler moved, so we'll just put that back at the top position. By the way, did you notice there you can click on that? See where it says arm, down, you can just click on those. All right, so let's go ahead and do the spoilers. All you need is spoiler. Spoiler axis. Click on it. Move your spoiler arm. There you go. This one does not need to be inverted because the top is at the top. It's not opposite like it is on the throttles. Easy, right? Okay. What about the flaps? Hmm. Again, flap access. Axis. And we'll click on that. And let's move our flap axis. Now, again, you have to move it the whole range for it to pick it up. But there you go. See how it's picking it up? All right. And then I'm going to roll it back to the top. And we have those set. Okay. And you can close this. You can, by the way, you can see anything you have assigned by clicking down here on the filters. And here's everything we have assigned. And now uh, we can close this out. And what's really nice with this controls window is you can just work on it right here while you're doing it. Okay, so there we go. We have throttles working. We have our spoilers working. We have our flaps working. And we have the uh, all, almighty reversers working. Again, remember with the reversers, got to push that throttle forward a little bit. You won't see it move, of course, because you're actually moving these into the max reverse position by pushing forward on your actual throttle quadrant. Pull it back, and you can see it'll move back to reverse idle, and then push the two buttons back down, and you are forward idle. And that is all you need. As always, if you have found this content helpful, please like, please subscribe, and we'll have more 777 tutorials coming too. If you look in there already, you'll see I've done some for the 300ER. And that also works for the 777 freighter, and it'll work just fine for the 777-200ER as well. And we hope you really enjoy this new product too. See y'all later.